What's up, everyone? Um, sorry for my voice. Went to Dumbfounded's concert last Thursday, and this is the result of it. Okay, so we might die tour in Atlanta. I I don't know where to start with this one. A lot happened. A lot of great things. A happened. lot of great things happened. Okay, so we're just gonna go right into this. So we're gonna start off with the DJ. It was DJ Zo. DJ Zo killed it. Hands down, one of my favorite DJs ever. Yeah. He literally came out for an hour and was playing every song from new Agreed. to old to the Ratchet. 90s, 80s, country, country, all both of your Atlanta style because we're in Atlanta, so a lot of the Nucky if you book type yes. stuff, it comes from there. And it's funny because he went from Nucky if you book to make my way downtown, yeah, fast to Backstreet Boys, down. then back to Drake. Yeah, it was so weird, but it was dope. Like, it, yes, all of the above about it was completely dope. insane. Great, great, hands down, one of the best DJs ever. Yes. So, after uh, after the DJ put this text, Year of the Ox comes on. And, okay, a bit personally, I've never, the first one I ever heard of anything from Year of the Ox is from Lyrics, and that's with Kai Bai Bo. Never heard anything with him, ever. But then, you get the whole team together, and it's just crazy. Hip hop used to be when it comes to the metaphors, when it comes to telling stories, when yes. it comes to you know spitting that bone thugs and harmony, Buster Rhymes, yes. Twister type lingo going, killed it. Yes. Cause they're not like how artists today are. Cause mm -mm. artists today they just be they just be spitting just to be spitting. Just just like we saying get it. nothing, but they yeah. actually have meaning behind their mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what we need. That's what we need. Yeah, like, definitely, their year of the Ox EP, you definitely need to cop that. So then you have Mr. Dumbfounded himself. Dummy. Dummy. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me say, as soon as he, he literally runs on stage and he opens up with Harambe. I'm to the with no guns and roses. Keep it going on and out, don't push me over. A whole lot of composure, low whiskey soda. This hot meat, that Irish don't look with clothes. He's trying to take me out like Harambe. I think the triple lies are on the one day. And the crowd is lit. I don't know. Did we get that on camera? Yes. Okay, the opening? Okay. Crowd crazy. There is so much energy that like the entire concert itself is just so much energy yes. and i feel like both the crowd fed off of dumbfounded and dumbfounded fed off the crowd yeah yeah because there did. was no lacking moment at all mm -hmm. even when mm -hmm. like dummy got a little tired went to the back dj spit some ones mm -hmm. and twos whatever of course yeah we know what she's trying to say either way like there was no dull moment at all no no all. dumbfounded okay let me say this about dumbfounded one, I didn't know he was really such a goofball. Yes. Because you have certain people, like when certain artists come out, they just go run through their sets. They do, they talk one, two here, and then go through their set. And just it's kind of like a schedule thing with them. Dumbfounded literally gave us, I want to say, I want to say the best crowd interaction. So far from times oh, yeah. I've been, the best crowd interaction ever. In town, she got a career in town. She got a yeah, man, so it's a cute, cute little community. Hey, see you, bro! Hey, see you. Who's from Atlanta? Everybody 
talk to everybody ask them about their personal lives yeah. we got people's college degrees going on we got their jobs we got what they sipping on how old they are literally he was i didn't know if he was a rapper or a stand-up comedian because yeah. he literally was cracking jokes on everybody that was there mm -hmm. and he had the crowd laughing had them turned up the entire time and that's what makes it so personal too mm -hmm. so like if you are i don't know if you just out on the stage and you're just doing what you know just rapping like the crowd wants more from that. So mm -hmm. when you start asking them about different things, oh, you 30, why you up here? You should be back there. Right. Like, <laughs> yes. Plus, there was, there was this time, this guy literally came out of nowhere and handed them, found it a shot. A shot. And he was like, what the hell are you? Are you person, like the personal bartender here to come bring me the shot? Gave He even gave him, done found it, a, a, literally a half empty can of beer. Yeah. And he started shooting on the fact, like, how you gonna give me a half empty it's beer your with your backwash in it? <laughs> like, funniest thing ever and one thing about Dumb Founder that I noticed it because he kind of messed up a couple of times on, yeah. it, on his songs he kind of messed up <laughs> forgot some words he even did like a um a random freestyle yeah and he kind of like lost his train of thought because people were like like rooting him on he even stopped and was like you know what whatever I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna redo this and then keep going again and then he said when you mess up just blame it on the crowd blame it on the crowd and it'll be okay he blamed it on the crowd and he kept going again so it was nice to kind of see an artist Take his flaws and be like, I fucked up, yeah. but I'm going to do this again and then do it. And not show flaws. Yes. I love that part about Big him. Ups, Big ups. But yes, he did <laughs> He did uh, all of his songs. He did everything on his album besides um, All In. All In. Featuring Code. Uh, oh. All In is one of my favorite songs on the album. Yes. But for the most part, he did Ancestors. Killed it. Yes. Ancestors, Ancestors. I in the block. I remember when y'all said with the broad sail, my father went to soap by the red zone. You think I'm James and you saw my father ask me his son of the red zone. The true strength is not when I was young and I didn't understand what he meant though. Then we can think it was stupid for me. Look at my dad and what are you talking about? Generations can be me crazy. Bloodline gets a PG say. Too many mothers that burn the big rivers of the Yabbies because I'm talking to the idiot. What are they going to do? You didn't have to do it. He did safe, killed it. You took me safe. Killed it. Harambe. He did Harambe twice. He opened up with Harambe and then closed with Harambe. Killed it. Which I was perfectly fine with that. Right. And then when he did Ichi Ma, I was oh like, my oh gosh. Lord Jesus. Okay, this at this moment. Here. Okay, at this moment, I'm trying to record for you guys. <laughs> Ichi Ma comes on. That was one of the first songs that I learned for both Korean and Japanese. <laughs> and I was so sad I could not like jump up and down, <laughs> yell all the above. <laughs> Atlanta, we were mostly just working, but um, she's her and she and Obi is going to, which is why Obi isn't here. She didn't go to the one in Atlanta because she's going to the one in Chicago. So they're going to the one in Chicago, and that's going to be more of your truly and you know enjoy the whole con the yes. concert itself. 
I can say this is this is our first one for the year. Yes, our first concert the first concert of the year. Of the year this so. is yeah. I want to say this is a great way to start off yes. the year, like concert wise. It was, and considering the fact that there most of this tour is all sold out, mm -hmm. it's it's so worth it. Like you it guys is. really need to to literally get into your docs and dumbfound it. Yeah. Guys, yeah, that was. Yeah, we might die to work. Yes. And if Ready. you guys have some video or footage or anything, let us know where it's at so we can go take a look at it. And then, of course, y'all can look at our footage and everything. We just swap footages. Mm -hmm. And if you're going swap to the footages. Chicago... <laughs> swap footages? <laughs> that don't sound going... like that's something we need to be yeah. doing. <laughs> it's okay. So, but if you're going to the Chicago show, let us know if you guys see us. Like, hey, what's up? You know, just let us know you're there. Just... Comment down below or on our Twitter or Instagram. If you have us on Facebook, that too. Do we have Facebook? Facebook? Individually. Yeah, okay. But anyway, so yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely go check out We Might Die, the album, the mixtape, and Year of the Ox uh, mixtape, Year of the Ox. Yes. Um, yeah, that's it. So please like this video, share this video, comment down below. If you guys, if you guys went to Atlanta, let us know how you guys felt about it. Hit us up on I don't know that's I D O L N O O N A S. I can't do it as fast as Obadiah. My spelling ain't that great. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also follow us on uh, Snapchat, Valerie White one two three. I'm pretty sure if she was there, we should say Tiny Red Tiny Toy. Red Toy. So sad. And then <laughs> I call you make me ink. And don't forget to hit us up on our blog, IamPlayback.com. We will be putting up the entire review of the, the We Might Die tour up there on there really, really soon. So please go check that out. IamPlayback.com. Alright? Peace. Perfect.